we'll we'll start. The um, my one of my biggest regrets of this summer is well, there's like eight regrets in here, but then you and I were going to hang out, and yeah. I was super stoked on it because like I remember the first time. This is embarrassing because I'm sure I missed a lot. But the first time I heard about you was when you broke the world record mm -hmm. for the individual pursuit, which was last summer. And and then I forget you said something about cookies. I think you credited your wife's cookies at some point. I, suddenly I got a lot of messages about cookies, and I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, this guy likes cookies, and he did it his own weird way, which I always enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so well, first here's here's your cookie. This is from Commissary. So this is. Uh, that would have been really bad if this cookie was old news. Of all the cookies in LA, here I'll this let you is unwrap like a really it. Good one. Yeah, so they make it for my fondo. They have a few locations, but this is a staple for the eating cookies, the Pro Cyclist series. Um, okay, so I want to discuss. Oh, it's really good. The cookie's good. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I guess like I knew that. So it's I very dense. Gonna, yeah, it's like the thing is, and that's it's really chewy. I like I'm it. I'm gonna admit. Well, here's the thing. Normally, I eat a cookie with the guest. I ate mine on the way here. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Like I didn't have, have one. some if you want. No, no, it's good. I was just like I, I had to do it. It was it was just there was traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it was sitting right there, and I'm not that good. Um, okay, I want to discuss your your entry and so dirty Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's let's start landscaping. Okay, just let's go, let's go there. Uh, well, my dad has a landscape company, mm -hmm. the Creative Landscaping, and. Uh, He's been like a huge supporter in this whole thing, and like, kind of got this whole process started of uh, like taking track to the next level instead of just like doing grass track stuff in Lawrence. Okay, so that's what. So let's go through. When did you start racing? What was your first entry into bike racing? What category even? Into any bike racing, not track, yeah. just road. This um, was the first. Yeah, I did a couple, uh, like you know, Midwest mall parking lot crits as a mm -hmm. junior okay um got real burned out on that super quick shocking <laughs> shocker um, bad parking lot mall crits terrible all right and then how did you unburn out uh i just got into like ultra distance stuff so do you know what randonneering is no it's like ultra distance uh totally self-supported and there's also like no winners. It's not really a race. It's more just like a completion event. But okay. they're also quite long, and then there's like a time standard. So every 600K brevet, like Ooh. that's the event. <laughs> Hang on. They, the shortest one is 200K. Okay. And every 200K brevet anywhere yeah. is like you get, I think it's like nine hours to finish. So like it's pretty generous. Yeah. Um, but you can't like, you can't dick around too much. Sure. Um. And so I did uh, a whole series of those, a two, a three, a four, a 600, and then a 1200K as well Okay. when I was in college. So I did that for a while. How long did the 1200K take? Basically like four days. It's 90 hours. Uh, so it's like four days of double centuries. Okay. It's pretty heavy. That's outrageous. It is and outrageous. Is it your camping? Um, this one, I did one in uh, Colorado called the High Country 1200K where it was like it was sort of staged as like, okay, this is a four day race. Yep. Um, so we had like overnight hotels that was like okay. included in the race. Okay. Some purists out there is calling you soft for getting a hotel and not. Yep, absolutely. Sleep. Yeah. Because okay. like Paris, Paris, Paris is the most famous one, mm -hmm. and the whole point of that is to like sleep as little as possible. And I was like, no, nah, right. I'll take a nice overnight. Spur. You've done that one? No, okay. I have not. Uh, I but, think you shouldn't. I think you should stick to track now. I think probably. I would love to. It's on the bucket list. I would love to do it someday. Okay. It sounds awesome. And so how do you go from that to pursuit? Well, I went from that to gravel, and then, like, the gravel got more competitive. Mm -hmm. um, you won Kansas what year? No, I haven't won Kansas. You haven't won Kansas. I've only done it twice. Why do I think you won Kansas? Everybody thinks I've done it, like, a bunch of times, and I've won it. Somehow you were I've defined won, as a Kansas rider. I won, yeah. Well, I've won a smattering of other gravel races okay. in the area. Um, I won my age division for Dirty Kansas when I did it. That counts as something. Uh, and then I won the 100 mile this year. That I knew. Yeah. I'm um, just going to say you won Dirty Kansas in 2015, and we'll just move on. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, and then Who actually did win it that year? They're, they're cool with it. It's fine. Probably Yuri, maybe? Sure. Then he Yuri will come fight Yeah, me. he's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got to catch you first. Um... So then I did that. I did the Crossing Kansas record. Uh, and then 
just kind of we have a grass track in Lawrence, and so that was what kind of got me started into that. What's a grass track? It's like just actual like, grass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like if somebody mowed a 333 meter track in that lot out there, like just unpressed grass. Okay, just like someone's yard. Yeah, and then like a mower and a piece of string, and it's 333 meters. But it's banked. No, flat. Like it's How fast literally. Are you going? Uh, I, as far as I know, I still have the KOM at 30 miles an hour <laughs> for one lap. And that is, okay. like, terrifying. It sounds like, but, like, road tires and all that. You're not going knobbies or something. No, you're going cross tires, yeah. Oh, of I, deal, I, I rode, uh... A grass track. Yeah, the best tire I found was the Specialized Terra. I think just kind of their all-purpose cross tire. Okay, place. sure. Interesting, I still all eat right. the cookie while I'm talking? No, you're supposed to. Yeah, it's oh, okay. over when the cookie's done, so you got to pace yourself... And then I'm pacing my questions. Mm. Um, okay, so you enjoyed track from there. When was your first, no offense to the grass track, when was Real your first actual race. bell jump? Uh, it would have been January of 2017. I went down to Florida. Oh, okay, I cool. thought, Yep. Mm-hmm. I was worried I needed to get enough uh, USAC points to cat up. Like mm-hmm. I was still a cat five, cat four technically. I'd done a safety course. In 2017, you were a cat five. Okay. I was a cat four track. Okay. Um, so I went to Florida. I'm won. trying to throw off. <laughs> I know. That's a bummer. I went to Florida, and I won every event except yeah. uh, match sprints. And Kieran. I didn't win. I didn't race Kieran. Okay. Um, and then uh, the track director there saw me racing, and he was like, dude, I can't believe you're cat. Like, go home and cat up. Yeah. Like, you're going to cat one, and you'll go race in T-Town. And so I went mm-hmm. to T-Town. That went really well. Won my first nationals in IP in 2017. And then since then, it's been just kind of that repeat of like World Cups, World Championships. You won that, and then the world record was that same. No, that would have been. I went to my first Pan Am Championships in 2017. Okay. Just for IP. I wasn't racing TP at that point. And I got fifth. Uh, That was in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, yeah, the next year, it was last year, it was in August Calientes. And that's when I got the record. Jeez. All right. That's it. It's been a quick trip. Instagram handle is Bahama Longbottom. Explain yourself. Um, when I first started working at Sunflower Bike Shop. Uh, I knew that bike shop. In mm-hmm. Kansas? It's a nice yeah. bike shop. So I worked- Nationals was there when I was a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I worked there for four years when I lived in Lawrence, Kansas, uh, while my wife was going to school. And we always had to, like, you know, anytime you changed a flat or, like, you ordered something, you would always, like, sign your initials and date it just so, like, if you... If you mm-hmm. can, can we curse on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. You like should. if you fucked up, someone he said knew. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> someone knew who to go track down, and so I would write like ALs, you know, and the date. Oh. And someone was like, uh, "Does anyone know Ashton's last name?" And then one of my buddies, Andy White, who uh, does a lot of photography uh, photography projects with me, he was like, "I don't know, man. It's probably something stupid like Longbottom." <laughs> and I, so for a while, it was like Ashton Longbottom or Assy Longbottom, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, I also wear uh, Hawaiian shirts a lot, like sure. very regularly. Okay, um, and so then it became he transitioned it to Bahama Long Bottom, and then that just kind of stuck. It sticks. Okay, fair enough. And then I had the uh, one of my first like real gravel bikes was the Aloha Crux. Um, okay, that custom painted. What's up? Uh, <laughs> that custom painted like tropical fade Crux that okay. got a lot of press. So you're going for the Hawaiian theme. Yeah, I love Hawaiian theme, yeah. man. Have you been to Hawaii? Bunches. Yeah? I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> what? Which island? Um, the only island we haven't been to is the Big Island. Okay. It's the only one I've been to lately. There's a good I volcano love... there to ride. I've ridden on Maui. That's probably my favorite place to ride. Haleakala is good. Yep. I haven't ridden much on Maui. The uh, The Big Island has the bigger volcano. Right. Um, Haleakala. Do you the... climb? Do you like uphills or no? Um, I like uphills. I don't like going downhill. I'm a really shit descender. Like, okay. really bad. We've been riding for like six months. Uh-huh. The, uh, so you, you mentioned off-camera you don't do mass starts. Um, well, I mean, I don't need to ask why. <laughs> I guess the question is why didn't you warn me <laughs> three weeks ago? Yeah. Uh, no, I knew. That was, that's on me. So you, you just don't, you just don't feel like bumping elbows with dudes, basically? No, it's just not as gratifying. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, most of the time in the gravel race, I'm more interested in, like, keeping the pace high at the beginning just to get it down to, like, 
four four mm-hmm. or five dudes that I'm comfortable riding with, and I'm like, all right, we're just gonna sit at tempo and make sure like the eight other masters guys with arm warmers or right. like arm sleeves don't catch us, right? Because I don't want to ride with those guys. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's just um, the, the safety filter. It's the safety thing, and it's mm-hmm. just like I don't. I'm not very tactically savvy. Okay. Um, it just takes a while to learn that stuff. It does. And uh, I'm just like, I, every time I've tried to learn it, I'm just like, oh, my God, this is so boring. I'm not interested in this. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, now I want to discuss, uh, explain your, your track team. How do you pronounce it? Hube? Hoob. Hoob. Hoob like boob. Hoob like boob. Okay. Uh-huh. Is that like the motto? That's what they um, told me when I got there. <laughs> so you had to ask the same question. Yeah. I don't feel bad. Yep. Um, so what's what's that whole project? It looks super interesting. Um, I mean, just to go smash as many World Cups as we could. Mm-hmm. Um, they were they're just a group of guys based out of Derby in the UK that were like frustrated at um, basically British cycling, and they don't have a very transparent selection process. Sure. Um, so they were like, okay, well, fine, we can't get selected. Like, I'm, obviously, they're all incredibly talented riders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, deep over there for sure. It's super deep. Couldn't get selected for British Cycling. Didn't know why. And they're like, well, that's okay. We've got a ton of great companies and great industries around Derby um, that we can get on board to make the fastest team possible. All right. So we're happy with the cookie. Great cookie. Top notch. Okay. Um, we do need to discuss your cookie thing. Other than mm-hmm. you like cookies, which doesn't really deserve an explanation. Mm-hmm. Um, your wife makes cookies. I had some. They were almondy. What was in that? It felt like there was almonds. There's in no there. almonds. I was on a lot of drugs though. Casey brought them to me in the hospital. Fair. Okay. They were small, which I wasn't super happy about. They're to very be small. Yeah. Well, the goal is that like they were initially kind of, I would say, designed um, to fit in a top tube bag. Oh. So I'm a big fan of the top tube bag, like okay. the Red Lake gas tank or something. Oh, you're such a hipster. It's great. It works really well. No, that's the thing is, you're it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it worked yeah. really well. Like the last gravel race I did, um, I had a bunch of gels and my cell phone in there, and then I wore like my track skin suit. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, sure. So no jersey pockets. Right. So your arrow, well, you're losing it in the front. Not necessarily because arrow. gravel racing, you have that number on the front, right? Oh, it's just there anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Obviously, know what you're doing. I try. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't arrow tested that setup specifically. You but, haven't? Uh, somebody, no. somebody has, for sure. There's a forum. On gravel arrowness? There's got to be. Probably. Yeah. Uh, so so the cookies... Everybody message him. Find him on... <laughs> send me the... Send me the <laughs> let, let Ashton know yeah, how, the which, gravel which bag arrow. is ideal. Mm-hmm. Um, so the cookies, there's like this whole sort of span of food that we kind of tried to make that would like stand up to its own in a top tube bag like Mm -hmm. outside of a a ziploc bag potentially like we made um the cookies were probably like the things that worked the best but there was like some sausage balls there were like coconut macaroons for a little bit um but now i normally go with just like yeah maple syrup and then maybe some gels or something okay i like that you just go full sugar that's what trackies can do road they would really discourage that why would it? What else would they do? You're supposed to do. You're supposed to burn fat. They make us ride fast. It was horrible. It was really annoying. It, like, I never ride fast for me. sometimes. Do I you? mean, but just like, I wouldn't say super intentionally. <laughs> just like sometimes it just happens. Yeah, today because you rode. Oh, you got a tattoo today. I got a tattoo. You got to show the camera that. Um, okay, what, what does it? What does it mean? Does it have to mean something? It's a cool. No. It's a rose. It's a black rose. I saw this on Instagram and I hit the lady up. Uh, I was like, hey. This is a new flash sheet. Can I get this one? And she was like, yes. Wait, so somebody has that tattoo already? No. The, she I just got had it. the design she, of... she drew like it was new on her flash sheet. Okay. Flash is flash like means. flash is like uh, when an artist has downtime, they just like draw stuff. Okay. And they'll okay. be like, All right, these are tattoos available. This is a thing that could exist. Yeah. And then okay. once uh, once that sheet is gone, like now that I got this, mm-hmm. she'll probably cross it off her sheet. I see. And be like, Well that piece Because it's taken. exclusive. That's yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. That's fair. You bought the rights to it. Just bought the tattoo. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just hit. I just saw it and I was like, "Oh, that's super cool." I want to get a tattoo in LA, <laughs> and then I got it. That's like all there is to it. I love it. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good way to go, man. Sweet. The next one, Olympic rings. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I'll probably get more in between now and then. But you think? Okay. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I'll figure it out. Yeah, that's fine. You, I mean, you just what you see on the flash sheet. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Sweet, cool, man. Thanks for this. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks Next for the cookie. Summer. Left-handed hug because my arm's busted. Oh, that's right. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah, thank you. All right, sweet man, thanks.